Why are clouds white and the sky blue? Have you ever wondered why the clouds are white or why they darken and turn gray? Well, it's all about how sunlight interacts with the contents of a cloud. When sunlight reaches atmospheric particles in the sky, blue light is scattered away more easily than other colors. Because it's scattered more effectively than longer wavelength forms of light, like red, yellow, green, and orange, the sky appears blue. In a cloud, sunlight, which is white, is scattered by millions of relatively large water droplets. These droplets scatter all colors almost equally, meaning that the sunlight continues to remain white. This is why clouds appear white against the background of a blue sky. And what about those gray clouds? According to the UK's National Meteorological Service clouds appear gray, for the same reason they turn white. Light is normally scattered upwards, or to the sides of clouds. This makes the tops and sides of clouds whiter than the base, which receives less light. When you see a rain cloud, the dark gray color is more noticeable because the droplets are even bigger and scatter more light. Less light reaches the base of the clouds, which gives them their intimidating appearance. A bolt of lightning is five times hotter than the sun. In terms of temperature, lightning is hotter than the sun. In fact, lightning is four times hotter than the surface of the sun. The air around a stroke of lightning can peak at 50,000 degrees Fahrenheit, while the surface of the sun is around 11,000 degrees. Also, lightning is 70,000 degrees Fahrenheit or 38,871 Celsius, compared to lava at 2,240 degrees or 1,227 Celsius. If so, can lightning melt steel? Since a lightning strike has a very short duration, the total heat generated during such a strike is not enough to melt metal, but enough to set with a flame or melt plastic. Do you know that there are no male or female earthworms? Earthworms are simultaneous hermaphrodites, meaning worms have both male and female reproductive organs. During sexual intercourse among earthworms, both sets of sex organs are used by both worms. If all goes well, the eggs of both of the mates become fertilized. Human eyes can detect about 10 million different colors. A healthy human eye has three types of cone cells, each of which can register about 100 different color shades, therefore most researchers ballpark the number of colors we can distinguish at around a million. It has however been determined by people who determine such things that there are somewhere around 18 decillion varieties of colors available for your viewing enjoyment. That's an 18 followed by 33 zeros. It's physically impossible for pigs to look up into the sky. Pigs have no real appreciation for the sky because their bodies are composed in a way to prioritize finding food. Pigs' necks don't bend enough to allow them to look up at the sky. This is due to the anatomy of their neck, which makes it very difficult to bend backwards. Don't worry as they can still roll over on their backs and look up at the sky. Did you know some perfumes actually have whale poop in them? Some perfumers covet a rare kind of whale poop known as ambergris. Though it develops in the intestine of sperm whales, it produces a prized scent used in high-end fragrances. This is ambergris. It might look like a rock, but it's actually a rare kind of whale poop. Though it is illegal to use ambergris in perfumes in the US because of the sperm whale's endangered status, foreign markets, especially French, remain strong. And it's not cheap. Quality pieces of ambergris which ambergris hunters snatch up as they wash ashore, can cost more than $7,000 per pound. Otherwise per gram, ambergris can cost more than silver, which is 30 times more. But what does whale poop smell like? 
Its odor has been variously described as earthy, musky, sweet, and marine. Peanuts are not nuts. Believe it or not, peanuts are not nuts. They are part of the legumes family. Even though nut is in its name, a peanut is actually a legume. Like soybeans, lentils, and other legumes, peanuts are edible seeds that grow in pods. Still most people think of them as nuts, along with tree nuts such as walnuts, almonds, and hazelnuts. This is also because the proteins in peanuts are similar in structure to those in tree nuts. They are rich in protein, fat, and fiber. While peanuts may have a large amount of fat, most of the fats they contain are known as good fats. Peanuts were originally called ground nuts, and despite their popularity, they're also known for being inexpensive, thus peanuts also informally means a very small amount of money. Tomatoes are actually fruits, not vegetables. Knowledge is knowing that a tomato is a fruit. Wisdom is knowing not to put it in a fruit salad. Those were the legendary words delivered by Brian O'Driscoll ahead of Ireland's Six Nations clash with England in 2009. Tomatoes are fruits that are considered vegetables by nutritionists. Botanically, a fruit is a ripened flower ovary and contains seeds. Tomatoes, plums, zucchinis, and melons are all edible fruits, but things like maple helicopters and floating dandelion puffs are fruits too. Did you know ketchup was once sold as a medicine? Tomato ketchup was once sold as a medicine. In the 1830s, tomato ketchup was sold as a medicine, claiming to cure ailments like diarrhea, indigestion, and jaundice. The idea was proposed by Dr. John Cook Bennett, who later sold the recipe in form of tomato pills. John Cook Bennett declared tomatoes to be a universal panacea that could be used to treat diarrhea, violent bilious attacks, and indigestion. Pretty soon, Bennett was publishing recipes for tomato ketchup, which were then concentrated into pill form and sold as a patent medicine across the country. It was believed that tomatoes had pectin, lycopene, and other nutrients, which had potent medicinal properties. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.